Hi there, St. Paul's family. I want to update you on the council meeting that took place here at church last night. It was a, a long meeting, a very difficult meeting, to be totally honest. And I want you to know that, uh, that, that the council members uh, really uh, are taking their positions seriously. They care very deeply uh, about uh, leading the congregation uh, through these difficult and challenging times when it comes to uh, the, this pandemic and and all the issues that are related to it and and that they really wrestled with this and I, I'm grateful to them um, for their uh, for their passion I'm grateful to them for their their work ethic and their desire to to to, to work through this uh, together they did uh, decide in light of uh, the rising uh, COVID numbers here in in Fargo and in Cass County, and and because of the the, the risk level that the governor uh, placed on on our county here a week or so ago, and then and then also with the mayoral mask mandate that came through here last Monday evening, uh, we did decide to go ahead and, and require the use of masks in in our building uh, indefinitely uh, for the foreseeable future anyway until. Uh, until things change, and that's something that they will continue to reevaluate as time goes on. But for the time being, we're going to ask that you wear masks. Uh, we're going to require that here when you come to church. There are a few exceptions, and I want to list those for you. Uh, first of all, uh, any child under school age does not have to wear them. Uh, those with medical conditions and disabilities uh, are exempted from this also. Uh, persons who are actively consuming food or drink uh, don't have to wear masks, obviously, and that would include communion too. We're going to keep uh, our regular communion practice that we've been doing for a number of months now, and uh, and then also uh, those uh, when you are uh, be able to maintain six feet uh, of of distance between non-household members uh, in those situations, especially with small groups and things like that, uh, masks are not required to be worn at those times too. You'll notice that not much is going to change procedurally or, or, or schedule-wise with us, really, as we're talking through this and, and working through it, much is going to stay the same uh, as far as our early service with the, the order of service that we've had there with no music, and then Sunday school we're gonna, still going to have, and, uh, and then the, the second service with music and, and singing and so forth. But we're just going to have masks worn through those things, and that's just going to kind of be the, the standard operating procedure for, uh, for, for, for now, and that would include the rest of the activities that happen here throughout the week, too. Uh, if you do have questions, though, just don't hesitate to reach out to the church office or to one of the church council members. Uh, we'd love to be able to talk to you and, and answer uh, the questions that you have to the best of our ability. I want to share uh, just some verses with you here, and, and especially uh, I'm thinking of Psalm 27. You know, it's so easy to get distracted um, and bogged down by these difficult uh, situations and issues and questions that, that people have very different opinions on. And, and that came out last night in the meeting, um, but it's very true within our congregation and within our city and our country that, that we have very strong opinions um, that, that are very on different ends of the spectrum. There are many people that I respect deeply that are falling on both sides of this. And, and that this, it, it's what's happening right now. And so how do we as a congregation find common ground? And I would argue that, that, that David gives us a clue to that in Psalm 27. He says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? And then verse 4, One thing I have asked of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Let's keep our eyes on Jesus, friends. The devil loves to distract us, to tempt us, um, to take our eyes off of Christ. And David here says, there's one thing I ask, there's one thing that I seek, there's one thing that I'm looking for, and it's to dwell in the house of the Lord. We see, even in, I love our stained glass in our church, and, and behind me, the, the cross and the, and, and the crown, Jesus is king, he still reigns. We find life in the spirit, and, and, we, and Jesus calls himself the Alpha and the Omega, in, in, in the book of Revelation, he is the beginning and the end. He's the first and the last. He is everything. He is what matters. And so that he is the one thing that we look after. It reminds me too of Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 2. I desire nothing. I decided to know nothing else among you except Christ and him crucified. 
That is our message, and it's a message that we need to hear. So continue to come to church and, and to be a part of our life here. Continue to tune in on the live stream and, and, and hear that life-saving, that life-giving, that life-sustaining message of the gospel of Christ and Him crucified. We, we, we have to have that. We need that. We want that. That's our one desire. That's the one thing we seek after. And it's something, guys, that our community needs too. Uh, and and, and, and that, that, that the world would know. It's the world that needs it too. And so that's what we do here. That's our mission. And that mission doesn't change. And that's what our attention is. That's what our focus is. And it's going to stay that way. And it has to. And, and we're excited for it too. And I invite you to, 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 to take part in that, to continue to, to, to work, even if, if it means that we're going to be wearing masks a little bit more frequently here at, at, at church too when we're doing things. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being a part of this congregation. Um, we love you. And, uh, and we're excited to continue to serve uh, with you here in this, in this community. God bless.